Steve, I'm guessing that's a case of what could have been this afternoon. Very much so. Um, two, two chances, first half, they scored two goals. Uh, we've hit the bar, we've missed two chances inside the six yard box in the first half and the goalkeeper's made a good save from the free kick. So, you know, on chances in the first half, it's fairly even, you know, but they, they score two, we don't score. Then we come out second half and, and we start the, the start the second half well. We've, we've got a header inside the, and just outside the, the six yard box. Keeper's made another great save. Um, we've had another couple of chances and then we put balls whizzing across the goal. Creating chances today was probably the best part of our game. Scoring chances and defending our goal has been really poor. And it's a bit disappointing because we're, we're, we're well into into what I'm doing now and and I'm I'm a bit disappointed with the way that we've we've defended today. I mean, yeah, okay, if the penalty goes in, it, it, it could it could be a different game. Uh, and then Anton tries a back pass from 40 yards. Uh, if he doesn't, if he makes a better decision with that and, and maybe clears a bit, we're thinking we're two 0 down. We're trying to rush things. We've got to we've just got to be better at at the general side of the game. A lot of teams are going to come and play against us, and they're, they're, they're going to come here. Uh, even when we go to them and they're going to want to set up shot to to either nick it or get a point against us because that's the kind of club we are and we need to have a mentality within that changing room that knows how to deal with that and has to know how to win games from nothing and we don't quite have that yet and that's, that's what I'm a bit disappointed in. Do you take anything from the resilience shown in the last uh, 10 minutes when the chances go in but you nick two goals to make the scoreline look almost respectable? The scoreline does look, look respectable to some extent, but we've lost three goals at home. It's it's, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not it's not good enough, you know. Because they two goals should really be we've defended and seen it out to the ninety second minute, and then we go and score two goals to win two 0 and that that's what I'm disappointed with. We're not we're not doing the right things at the right times in the game, and and we need to we need to be able to be in the game. You know, it's, it's when you can go back to Frickley, we're out of the game with 20 minutes to go. Today we're out of the game with 20 minutes to go. Uh, we're killing ourselves. We're absolutely killing ourselves. And we've got, to, we've got to change that round quite quickly. Like I said, you need to have a mentality where you know what teams are going to do and we're going to have to deal with it better to give ourselves an opportunity to stay in the game. Players with injuries, you've got Sam Mulready starting on the bench after his arm operation, but he's come on today. And then you've got Dino, who's, who uh, left the pitch last week at half time. Are they going to be fit? Because oh, I'm kind of thinking they're going to be featuring in the next game. Well, we'll, we'll have a look at uh, Mulready's come on there, um, and he's, he's come through the game fine, so he should be fit and ready for, for next Saturday. Uh, Dino's not, not he's, he's failed the fitness test uh, this morning, um, and I, I, we'll have another look at him Tuesday and see if he's ready. If not, then, then Thursday. And yeah, it's just a, it's just a matter of matter of time of, of, of hoping to, to keep as much of the squad. I mean, like I've said to you before, it's it's a busy time of the year now. Um, we need as much of the squad fit and fit and able to play as possible. Back here at Steel Park next week against Leek. It's going to be another tough game. All these games are tough. You've just got to keep going and battling through. We've got to we've got to make sure psychologically in our heads we know what we're going to be playing against um, and then we've got to then go and deliver that on the football pitch and that, that's, that's what we're going to be working a lot on over, over the next week because, like I said, actually creating chances today, we're, we're, we're very good. Um, we've had more than enough chances to win two or three games but converting them has been an issue and stopping them at our side has been a big issue as well. And I, I think we've had, what, one, two clean sheets this season? We need, we need, we need to do better. It's all time for looking at defence on the Tuesday night when you got training and then uh, obviously training night Thursday again I'm guessing as well. Yeah we need to work on it because we've got players more than capable, absolutely more than capable of, of being where we are in the league and pushing on. Um, so we've got players, it's, it's, it's now having to do the right things and I don't even think it's, um, it's, it's the, the, the tactical side of it, I think it's the, the psychological side where we're we're really lacking whether we're, we're switching off, whether we're making the wrong decision, and and that's the that's the side of the game that we really need to we really need to be looking at. Steve, thanks very much for your time this afternoon. Cheers, thank you. Just